Welcome back to Learn With A Classic and another episode on the great SU card. This is one of the SUs off my 1975 XJ6. It's an HS8. There are two of them on that 4.2 liter straight 6. On some previous videos, I've been restoring these and showing you how you can get them looking really nice like this. I'm very happy with the result and I can't wait to put them back on the car. If you're new to my channel and you want to see any of those videos, I put a link to the playlist up above and down below so you can check them all out and see how I turned these from some really ugly looking beat up carburetors to looking really nice and shiny. There is one more thing I need to do before I can put them back on the car and tune them. And yes, there will be a video on how to tune SU carburetors that's coming really soon. But before I can do that, we have to try the drop test. If you have multiple SU carburetors and they've been apart before and you're not sure who took them apart, and I mean, these things are 40, 50 years old, maybe 60 years old. They've been apart many times. So maybe someone's messed up and put the wrong dash pot back or put the wrong piston in the wrong dash pot, just messed up any of the parts. Because like I mentioned before, the piston and the dash pot are finely machined and they go together. They're a pair. The rest of the car body, it doesn't really matter that much, but the piston and the dash pot, they go together. So when heading over to my workbench, I'll show you how to try the drop test to see if your piston and your dash part are meant to be together and if they're the correct ones or if they've been mixed up. So let's go to the workbench. I'll show you how to do it. And the only thing you need for this test is some tape. Here are the two SU carbs off my 1975 XJ6. These are HS8s. I've already removed all the screws around the dash pot, so I can simply just pull them off. So I'll pull up each one, put the spring to the side, put the piston with the dash pot where it came off, and I'll take the carburetor body, put that to the side, but I'll put it next to the spring that came with that one, because I want to try and not mess things up, because, well, if you don't ever mess up any of the parts, then you never have to do this test. You never have to do the drop test and see if someone else has messed up the parts in the past. The next thing that you need to remove is a little piston or the damper on top. Once again, I set them down with the carbs they came off. So here are the two dash pots. Here are the two pistons. For this test, if you are pretty careful, you can still leave the needles in place. It's not a problem at all. Other than that, you need to make sure that everything is clean, that there's no grease or anything, no oil on here. Since I've just been cleaning and polishing all these, everything is really nice and clean. But you got to make sure that both are clean, because if one's clean and one's dirty, you will get an inconsistent result. Then you grab some masking tape, and what you need to do is cover up these holes here as best you can, so that they're as airtight as possible. And masking tape usually works pretty well. You can use any other tape that you want. The only thing is that you want to make sure you can get it off afterwards. If you use something such as duct tape, which leaves a residue afterwards, you got to be really careful and clean off any of that tape residue. You don't get a sticky surface in here because that will collect a lot of debris and dirt. So I'll tape up both of these. And when I'm done, I'll show you how to perform the test. So now the pistons are back in the dash pot. I don't have the springs in the back, they're still on the bench. And the holes are taped over like I showed you before. So now I'm going to try the drop test. Basically you're going to drop the pistons now, make sure that they fall at the same rate or at the same speed. If they don't, you need to swap the pistons over and try again and see if it's better there. You want to try and get them as close as possible because anything with multiple carbs, it's all about being in balance and as close as possible. So this is how they were. Let's try it out. All right, this one was a little faster. Okay, this one is a little bit faster, but they were very close. So I'm gonna swap it over and see if it's worse with them swapped over or if it's better. Okay, it's all swapped over now. Let's try again. That was very even. Very, very even. 
this is definitely the way that these pistons and dash pods are supposed to go together. So that's a great thing I tried this because they were in the wrong place. And that's the case with a lot of people that rebuild these carbs. They just take it all apart or maybe they take it apart and the next owner puts it back together. And then you end up with these situations where the wrong parts are in the wrong carburetor and it just messes up the balance. So now this is all good. I can remove the tape, clean off any tape residue if there is any, put the springs back in, put everything back together, and I'll be sure that these carbs are at least set up to be able to be in tune together and be in balance. So I'm very happy I did this test. So now if you're rebuilding your carbs, you should try this out as well. So you see, it doesn't take long, maybe 10, 15 minutes. You can try it out yourself. So if you like this video, please hit that like button and share it with your friends. Comment down below, have you tried this test before or is this something that you want to try in your car? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you like these videos and want to see more of them, I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel. I put new videos every week on some Jaguar and classic car related content. So you can navigate to my channel down below, check out some of my previous videos, hit the subscribe button and bell notification if you want to see more. Until next time, I'm Adam and this was Love With A Classic. I'll see you soon.